It wasn't foul play. That's what the widow of the reporter Grant Wall is saying today about her husband's sudden death while he was covering the World Cup. She's a doctor, and she says the medical examiner revealed that he died of an aortic aneurysm and that nothing could have saved him. But might there have been some warning signs? Here's Les Trent. This is so difficult to have you sitting here to talk about this. Epidemiologist Dr. Celine Gounder so is a familiar face on CBS Mornings. But today, she wasn't on the show to talk about the flu or COVID. She was there to talk about her husband, Grant Wall, the sports writer who collapsed and died at the World Cup last week. I saw messages coming in on Twitter, on my texts, on my email, and I, I realized, well, there's clearly something wrong. His cause of death initially was a mystery. The 49-year-old was in good health, although he had been experiencing flu-like symptoms in the days before his death. I'm coughing a lot if it sounds like a death rattle sometimes. His grieving brother Eric went public with a theory that Grant was murdered for wearing a rainbow shirt in support of gay rights. Grant had been briefly detained by World Cup security. My brother was healthy. He told me he received death threats. I do not believe my brother just died. But Dr. Gounder revealed today there was no foul play. Her husband died from a rare heart condition. He had an autopsy done here in New York by the New York City Medical Examiner's Office, and it showed that he had an aortic aneurysm um, that ruptured. It's a catastrophic problem, very hard to treat, very hard to even know if somebody has that. The aorta is the main blood vessel coming out of the heart. An aortic aneurysm happens when the aorta swells or balloons out. There is always a risk in that situation of a tear or a rupture or a blowout. Cardiologist Dr. Stephen Reisman says it's likely Grant Wall died quickly. Across the airwaves today, people are wondering if it could happen to them. Is there anything people can do uh, in terms of prevention, just in general, but also signs to watch for a condition like this? It's very hard to sort of screen for this sort of problem. People can have all sorts of different symptoms, back pain, cough. Those at risk are smokers, the elderly, or anyone with a family history of aneurysms. Beloved actor John Ritter died from an aortic aneurysm in 2003 during a rehearsal for his sitcom, Eight Simple Rules. And actor Alan Thicke was playing ice hockey with his son in 2016 when he was stricken with the same medical disaster. Today, Grant Wall's brother says, I no longer suspect foul play. It's just one of these things that had been likely brewing for years, um, and for whatever reason, it happened at this point in time. More than 13,000 people die from an aortic aneurysm every year here in the United States.